Good evening, everybody. My name is Sandy Bear Thunderheart. Of course, y'all know me as Bear. And tonight, um, that I am going to have a friend of mine um, that I haven't sp um, spoke to actually very much this week. Um, things, um, actually since Thanksgiving, to be honest. And so basically, well, I'm, we're here tonight, and I, he's going to be my guest. And he's a website designer and a musician by the name of Draven Midnight. And here he is right now. Here he is. Draven, what's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. I was just uh, I was just um, introducing you, and then you started calling, so that's excellent. Excellent timing. How do you like that? Then apples. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, excellent. So, how was your Thanksgiving, first of all? That's cool. So did you spend the time with your family or you just simply were working? Um, working a little bit, managed to hang out with uh, some friends' family. That was good. Oh, nice. Of course, you did avoid uh, Black Friday, right? Excuse me? You did avo avoid Black Friday going to the stores, right? I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time making that up. You were, um, as far as Black Friday is concerned, you, you, you did not go out um, doing any shopping during Black Friday, did you? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, good good choice. I didn't either. And and, I, and like I said, and actually I already did a video in regards to that uh, by my, on my own. So I'm not going to talk about it too much because I already did my video. Um, it, it's called, um, let's see, Ray Thursday, Black Friday, Mark Dice. Uh, actually, winter holidays and Mark dies with Bear. So, um, people can look at that over at um, Bear Rainbow YouTube um, later on if you guys choose to. But basically, I want to hear your input because I remember you were telling me that you wanted to share something regarding Black Friday that you actually you actually liked me about certain things. So, what do you want to share? Yeah, I only got about a short amount of time, so go ahead. The floor is yours. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, if you can speak up a little louder too, that'd be awesome as well. Just speak up as loud as you can. Oh yeah, I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, you made an excellent point too when you just pointed out about 9/11 being Patriot Day. When I look at it on my Patriot Day, what? Oh, oh hell no, no Patriot Day. I don't think so. And then, then of course, then later on, that's when you got the Patriot Act and everything, and it's anything but patriotic. Decision to say, you know what we should do? We should 
Well, like I said before, Draven, you got to hear me out. Uh, hear me out in my uh, video, like uh, it, you know, later on when you have a chance, and so do everybody else too. Because I, like I said, I've said my piece. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I will say this. You know, um, I, I really have had. I've been really been disenfranchised by the holidays, um, winter holidays for the last ten years or so. And you know, and, and there is now I'm really seeing the reasons why. I mean, I'm, I've been seeing it every year, but it just seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse. And then, like what you said, this whole heritage thing with the native now is being blocked by some shopping spree day that people are acting like animals. It's almost like they're masking their own selves just to get something that they not. First of all, they can't. They they're spending money on something that they cannot afford. They they really can't buy. They're using mostly credit. And they're not even buying assets or anything like that for themselves. They're really going to give money in return. They're t they're give they're spending something that's not an asset. They're they're spending a bunch of liabilities yeah. or anything. I think you're saying the Mark Dice thing. He went out with a bullhorn at Walmart. You're shouting at people saying, "No, no, you're a sheep. You're a zombie." That sort of thing. And I I, I see where he's coming from for that because these people are so brainwashed and, and they're convinced that they have to attend these events. Um, it doesn't really improve anyone's benefit, especially if people are getting hurt in the process to save a couple of pennies. Um, maybe, I don't know, I've never taken part with the deal. I always thought it was kind of overboard um, from where I'm standing. And it, it just doesn't seem like, I don't know, I always felt so it was gratuitous in a way that this country understands how to do gratuity. I mean, one word, McDonald's, that's disgusting. And I see, like, the, the sort of greed and gluttony that, that goes into, goes into play here on that particular day is something else. Um, it leaves, leaves me boggled. Like, why, why, did, why did you subject yourself to that sort of environment? What? You know, it's Christmas, Christmas isn't really, it's, it's like the most, uh, the biggest money-making commercial holiday next to Halloween in this country. And that's because we're, you know, the, the advertising machine, TV, the box, the boob tube, if you will, <laughs> is programming people to, hey, holiday deals, blah, blah, blah. Buy and sell stuff. That's not what, what that, the holy days are supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about communion and sharing time with your loved ones. So it's really easy to become disenfranchised when, when, you're, when you're shoved into a commercial holiday when it's truly intended for something else. Definitely. So, see, and that's just it. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and that's just it. And, I, and like I said, I remember when I was a kid, I just I just remember that Christmas really meant a little bit more of something other than just buying gifts. I mean, the gifts were nice and everything, but it wasn't just the gifts that really made it cool, even though that was only part of it. But while part of it was, you know, getting together with family, you know, people were smiling and, you know, like having a good time and everything. And it just now, just like what Mark Dice says, Oh, you, you can't even be at home anymore? You, you can't even wait until 5 a.m.? And that's another thing, too, that I had my issues with, you know, with Great Thursday. You know, all of a sudden now you're starting on a Thursday now? Why can't y'all just wait until Friday morning at 5 a.m. like normal, you know? I mean, you can't even wait nine more hours. <laughs> nine more hours, you know? Well, it, it, you know, the marketers push, they, they push the anxiety of the market by, by setting these timelines. They know that traditionally, that this time of year, because of the commercial holidays, this is, this is the time. So autumn is autumn going into winter is just a money-making season for you know the big corporate giants, and because that's common knowledge that everybody wants to participate on the same on the same playing field, but it's not level, and you know, it, the, the places that that deserve a bad rap for this are the WalMarts. And, and targets and whatnot. There's, I mean, they have a bad rap to begin with um, for, for many other reasons outside of. You know, it's just like it's just like a, a vicious loop, this circle of commercialism, um, like really subtle brainwashing to, you know, listen to the box, the box, no success for you. 
But let me ask you this though. But, so, sorry, go ahead. But let me ask you. Let me ask you this though. I mean, I I understand what exactly what you're saying, and that what you're explaining is extra is extremely ex, um good and and not to mention it is right on on track. But here's my here's my question. Why Great Thursday? Why Cyber Monday? Why the push for all this extra stuff? I mean, we had we just had like Thanksgiving, we had Halloween, and then we had Black Friday like normal, and they was already making lots of um, consumer shit going on. Why the push for all this extra stuff, Draymond? What do you think the underlying thing is? I already explained my version of it, but what is your take on it? Yeah, and that's just it. And I think a lot of the times, too, people are reacting due to the program of the prophecies and everything. But what people don't realize is that what happens then after the 21st of December and then life goes on in 2013. It's, 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 almost like, it's almost like the prophecy is almost like it's been done. And, it, and it's going to have the people going to start looking around like, what in the world now? The world hasn't ended. That's a lot. That's a majority of politicians anyway, though, Draven. Now, and people are 
Could you? He has a real solution, but it just requires the, the demand of the people to put our foot down, say, no, we're not going to take things as they were anymore. And we have new limitations that restrict a, a politician from having a lifelong career as a politician. They only get, they only get one shot at it, and then when you're done, you're out. Yeah, it is. But yo, oh, driver, uh, you said you said you said an article, right? A, a Warren Buffett. Yeah, I believe it's on MSNBC. Like, I'm sure if you Google uh, Warren Buffett deficit fix, the article would come up. Okay, so so you you heard that first, folks, right there. So. Um, yeah, there's a way you can get that information um, from what he just said. Now, here's another thing that 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 I that I also um, did have re rediscovered recently. Gerald Salente, the guy that does um, trends, um, you know, that does like transfer to econ economics and so forth. Uh, he's got his all blog sites and everything. One another thing too that that needs to be done. That what he said, and I thought that was an excellent idea, is that the people need to start demanding and start demanding to vote for the laws rather than the laws being voted by Congress. What do you feel about that? It is about being. Yeah, definitely. It is.